James the Shire, Fantasy Battle Report's going on the Battle Report for today. It's the Old World. Round number five. Guys, guys, I'm just saying round number five because I ain't doing a tournament yet, man. It's the road to Adepticon. I'm going to Adepticon at the end of the month, and I want to get these games in. I'm just hammering out 2,000-point games. <sighs> Anyways... Well, if you guys haven't caught up already, I've already played Luke Nickel for the first game. And then I played two games against my brother Jesse. And then I played one game against Highborn Elf, Will. Uh, this game is against Ian. Ian was supposed to come out that same weekend that I played Will and Jesse. Um, but what ended up happening was uh, Ian's plans fell through. He couldn't make it. Ian made it up by saying, hey, let's play this weekend. Uh, and I was like, fuck it, let's go, man. So we... Um, we were heading out to the Dice Dojo to go play. The Dice Dojo, just for you guys' uh, information, is like two blocks from my house. Okay, it is literally like walking distance from my house, okay? And we get there on a Saturday, and they're like, there's no tables! And I'm like, oh, god damn it. And I go to the basement to check anyways, because even though they say there's no tables, sometimes you can find a table, right? So... In this picture here, there's a guy in the back table over there. That table has no terrain, no armies, nothing. The guy's just eating his food on that table. And I was like, hey, do you guys mind if we play a game on the table? There's no tables! We rented all the tables! So then I found two other tables that had junk on it. And I was like, you guys mind if I just clean out this junk and put those two tables together? There's no tables! We rented out all the tables! Like, alright, man. So I went upstairs, and sure enough, all the tables were rented. I go back to the car, and Ian's like, eh. There's more than one place to uh, play Warhammer at. I'm pretty sure there's other gaming stores. So we went like 20 to 30 minutes down the lake to uh, Lincoln Park. And in Lincoln Park, there was this game store called Good Games. I go ahead and I call and I'm like, hey man, do you guys got a table that we could play? Like more gaming table? I saw it on the ad. I saw it on the, the Google, uh, you know, when you like Google it. Um, and then they're like, yeah, we have one table available right now. And I was like, all right, man, we're going to be on our way right there right now. We'll, we'll see you soon. So we get there, okay? Ian and I get there, and legit, they only have one single table. Not, not like one table and everybody else is busy doing on other tables. No, they had one fucking Wargaming table total for the whole store. The rest of the tables people were playing Pokemon on, so it was like, you know, it's, I get it, it's a card gaming store. Um, it was just so random. People kept walking up to us, and they're like, are you guys playing the old world? What are you guys playing? And I was like, we're like, yeah, it's Warhammer, man, it's old world. And then some people were like, wow, look at this, it's goblins and trolls versus orcs. And I was like, no, 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 that's, that's actually the same, the same army. We're just gonna, anyways, just moving forward. Um... So, I'm playing against Ian here. Here's a picture of my buddy Ian. Uh, we are uh, going 2,000 points. I do not have a proper list for either one of us up. Um, we're going to kind of have to wing it. I am going to wing it. I am going back, though, to show you what he has on the picture scales. Oh, man. I always should be prepared better. Okay. Anyways. <clears throat> So yeah, there's a picture of Ian. Uh, for Magic, I ended up getting a 6, 5, 4, and 1, which is Vindictive Glare. Um, oh man, I'm drawing a blank. Here we go. Foot of Gork and Evil Sun Shining. Uh, I replaced the Here we go with uh, Itchy Nuisance, because I always like having Itchy Nuisance. But in all fairness, I probably should have dropped the Foot of Gork. Um, for Ian's army you got here, he has his Dryads. Uh, the Dryads are just skirmish formation. He's going to go ahead and put them in this tray here. Behind them, those are his Wild Riders. They're frenzied. They have a lot of attack, strength 5 on the on the charge. Uh, this big bad boy right here, this is his, his uh, Lord on a Dragon. And then he has a unit of Treekin. The Treekin, he has four of them. Uh, I don't remember what weapons they have or are able to equip. And again, I don't have his list. I'm just kind of remembering off just the recall of the game. His dragon, though, the guy has the Ogre Blade, and he has this thing where he has a four of ward near trees. Um, he has two units of uh, these archers. These archers have uh, poison arrowheads, the hagbane arrows, and he has two characters in them. Uh, one of them will drop out of the unit, but the other one's the wizard. Uh, and then he has a tree man ancient. All right. Uh, as for me, as you can see, this is how I deployed. I have my savage orcs on the left here. I got my mangler squig. I got I uh, took thirteen night goblins with fanatics and bows. I got my general back there. I got my five trolls, stone trolls. Uh, and then I have my wizard on the, the, the sun worshiper behind the hill. Just in case he gets turn one, I just don't want to get shot turn one. Uh, and then I have my black works on the left flank. Uh, he did have scouts, so I kind of spread out my uh, big 
cheese back there and my spider, my rack and rock spider. Um, let's show you the terrain here. This is basically turn one, orcs and goblins. Turn one, orcs and goblins. Um, I just go ahead and I move up. But before I get there, let's go look at the terrain. The, we got two hills. We got these two spiky bits that are in the middle of the the the, the, the field, and uh, those spiky bits, we're playing them as low linear obstacles, we're playing them as walls. Uh, he, there's one forest that was on the table, that's the one that his, um, is the brownish one, and then the one that has the hill with something on it, we played that as his uh, his own forest that he brought um, for wood elves. Alright, so turn one, orcs and goblins, I'm going to go ahead and just push up my mangler squig and my, and my squig hopper, they just kind of just run up. Squig hopper went a perfect triple six, 18 inches, and I was like, oh, I had to wheel him so he didn't go too close to that tree man ancient on turn one, but uh, it does uh, cause an interesting um, issue against his archers, now he has a little bit of a panic of how fast this guy's going ahead. I put my black orcs right behind him, so that way if he charges his tree man ancient into him, I have a counter charge with my black orcs, and even if he kills my squake hopper, who is 64 points, my black orcs will start picking at his tree father ancient there. Um, Trolls move up. I'm not really too scared of archers. I am worried about the dragon, though, but we'll see how that plays out. Uh, and then I did get Evil Sun shining off on the corner there, and uh, I just move up back uh, behind. But then, then I realized I put up Evil Sun shining, but the, the short bows only have 18 inch range, which is kind of garbage. Um, Anyways, uh, go ahead and I do a Vindictive Glare to the only guy in range, which is this one fucking archer. So fuck that guy. Just kill him. Um, all right. And it's going to start off turn one. What else? What else? Turn one. Uh, he starts doing Walk Between Worlds. And I know that I didn't say what spells he has, but he does have spell cards, which is uh, helping me somewhat. I mean, it's very simple. Just print the goddamn page up and cut the papers out. But I forget to do that. I forget to do that because I have so much other shit going on in my life. Um, so I do walk. he does Walk Between Worlds onto this unit here. Uh, his character right here, look at this. I thought it was a Space Marine for a long time, but it's just kind of like a nymph that's just kind of floating around. She, um, she... Gets out of the unit, or he, or I, I'm not going to assume it's gender anymore. Um, it gets out of the the um, unit here and just kind of hangs out to the side. But these uh, archers are going to start shooting into my mangler. Now, he is uh, chaffing me with his dryads in skirmish formation. Um, he put it where he's going to... Uh, my my mangler would need a like a long overrun to get into somebody, uh, but there's something around that. He only pulled up one wound with the shooting, uh, and I do luck out with that. Um, over here, he shoots into to my my big cheese, and he gets two wounds off that go through my armor. But then he shoots a second unit into this guy, hoping to kill him. And I made like three or four armor saves. I was like, "Oh shit!" I blocked every shot, and he's like, "Oh, it's gonna be one of those games, huh, James?" Um, so I actually live. He does put up a tempest right here causing me to have difficult terrain and take dangerous chain checks and yada yada yada. But it's going to start off Orcs and Goblins, turn number two. Orcs and Goblins, turn number two. I'm going to go ahead and just charge my Orcs in. Now, I do this very slick. I, I charge the Orcs in. He has to scrunch up and when he scrunches up, he actually opens up the path back for the Mangler. <laughs> Anyways, um, my Mangler goes forward and his guys are about I want to say 12 away, 12 inches away. I roll a 14. So my mangler just boom runs into a unit of archers. And it puts him in panic mode at the moment about what the mangler's going to do next. Uh, I move my wyvern up, uh, kind of coming up the backside there. I don't have a fear that my, my savage is going to uh, fight those dryads and win. Um, so, uh, yeah. Magic, I don't think there was really much. I tried to do like a vindictive glare. Um, the foot, I didn't want to put it too close. So, I think that was it, really. So, close combat. Excuse me. <clears throat> close combat. The savages only kill off about four dryads. That's it. He goes ahead and swings back. He kills off a couple of savages. Four savages. I win by a banner rank, two ranks. That's it. Um, so, he's going to fall back in good order. When he falls back in good order, though, it makes me realize that I am going to get countercharged by fucking wild riders. Right? This is how it looks. So I'm like, and if I get too far, then I'm going to flank by Treants, or Treakin and uh, and the Dragon. So I'm like, you know what? I'm not going to pursue. The thing is, is the Savages, since they have Frenzy, Frenzy doesn't mean you have to pursue. It means you have to charge, but it doesn't mean you have to pursue. So I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and let him go. All right? So he goes ahead 
Uh, my mango squig here, though. My mango squig is just... <laughs> I, I don't even remember how many I killed. I think I just killed the whole unit. Impact hits was like five, and then I just fucking just rip apart the unit. I try to... Uh, I overrun on purpose because I'm trying to get out of line inside of his dragon, but also uh, just get into his back lines, right? So, boom. And then, plus, since he's a random mover, he'll be able to turn and go whichever way he wants. So, uh, we'll see how that goes. Um, that's about it for that turn. It's going to start off turn two. What else? What else turn two? As you can see, I did move my spider to the flank of his tree lord here, his uh, tree man ancient. Um, so, he kind of, uh, he wants to see this fight. I want to see this fight. I have a feeling that my spider will win against this guy. He has a feeling that his guy will win against my spider. So we're, we're just kind of both like, hmm, let's go at it. So he actually just backs up where he, I just can't get into his flank. He just gets, I get his front. Um, over here though, he charges his Treekin into my, uh, trolls and he charges his general into my trolls. Now, one thing is he does have move through cover on everybody, really, basically. The move through cover we, we discovered it uh, allows you to not take movement penalties when you move. Now, the question here came in, and, and I got my answer from Phil, uh, Phil Carl, but um, Ian was saying, well, if there's no movement penalty, charge is a move, and there shouldn't be any penalties to the charge move, right? Uh, Phil saying, you roll both dice, you still take the lowest dice on going through cover because just because you move through cover doesn't mean your charge is technically a charge move. I don't know. I don't understand it. I don't go into the freaking specifics, but that's what happened. Anyways, me and Ian played it the way Ian wanted, where he gets the bigger dice. His dragon does get in. His tree can fail. Okay. Um, he charges his wild riders into my savage orcs, and then, yeah, he gets in here. Ah, dragon. And then he gets in over there. Now, he's planning on shooting my squig hopper, kill him off, right? Uh, my one mistake here was I didn't leave the black orcs enough of an angle to counter charge if the dragon went in, and that's exactly what happened. I wasn't even thinking the dragon was going to go in that so soon. Honestly, I, I just wasn't, and I thought that the Treekin versus the Troll straight-up fight would have been fine. Um, so I kind of just screwed myself at that moment. Um, Alright. Um, over here, he puts up Walks Between Worlds again, and he does a Fiery Convocation onto the Mangler. does a single wound. Um, he does another spell that... I think that's the, the Convocation just goes, hits him, but it doesn't wound him. Uh, these archers are going to shoot into my Squig Hopper. The Big Cheese kills him. Uh, this guy shoots into the Mangler, does a wound. And then he drops a template here. I forgot what template this was, but it was basically a spell to block him from charging the rear of the uh, Treekin. I didn't really care, um, but... In all fairness, my, just a spoiler, my Mangler only rolls like 5, and to wheel is basically going to be 5 inches, so I, I kind of screwed that up anyways. Um, over here, close combat. Oh my god, this guy had the Ogre Blade. The Ogre Blade kills off one of my trolls right away. The, the dragon kills off another troll, and the stomps kill off another troll. My regions were horrendous. I made one region out of 10 wounds. Holy shit. Holy shit. Anyways, uh, I swing back and I don't do shit. I don't, I don't, I can't roll a fucking four or five up for the life of me. I just can't. Um, so I do think I did a single wound, but he had a ward save. He made that ward save. But anyways, uh, I'm going to fall back in good order. And I do. And now, at this moment, I'm thinking, haha, I'm going to get him close enough to my goblins here. So I can throw fanatics at him. Haha, that's the plan, right? No, man, I fail my, I, I fail my panic because the unit broke. I fail my panic, and the goblins run the fuck away towards the corner of the map. Um, over here, he kills only four savages. No, three savages. I made a ward save. He killed three savages, and I cannot kill his his fucking wild riders because uh, technically those are the guys in base to base contact that died. So I go for the dryads. I killed two dryads. He has like I, th I think like two dryads left. I think I'm trying to remember how this worked. He does have two dryads left. I don't know what the hell they are right now. Um, but, um, let's see, if I kill two, he did three, he has a banner, I have a rank and a banner, that's a tie. I don't know what happened to the, the I'm close to order, I think, and he's not, I don't know. Um, I think his dryads ran away, though, I think his dryads ran away and, and we're still stuck in that combat with the guys, or he, I fall back in good order and his dryads did not follow. I think that's what it is, I think that's what it is. I think, uh, let's go to this picture here, yeah, I think I just fell back in good order. And he followed with just his wild riders, and the dryad stayed behind because he has two left. All right, let's go start off turn three. Orcs and goblins. Orcs and goblins turn three. I'm going to go ahead and charge this charge here with the big Arachnorok into his tree man. 
ancient. And that's going to happen. Um, over here, my general can't really charge into the Wild Riders. I wish I could. I honestly was hoping I could flee past my general and my general gets into the next combat. Uh, that didn't happen. Um, so I'm going to charge over them and get into the Dryads, just kill off those Dryads, get the points. Okay. Uh, like I said, A-Rock's going in. This guy, like I said, he only rolled five inches and just kind of made a wheel. Oh, he rolled six inches. Excuse me. Um, all right. Magic, again, nothing's happening. I think I'm just failing my rolls. I don't really have anything good going on. Um, close combat, my Arachnorok has a Venomous Surge. The first attack always strikes first. AP2 does D6 wounds. I go ahead and I hit it with a Poison. The guy fails his ward save, or regen save, and I get four wounds off. Besides that, I only do one more wound onto the guy. He ends up doing only two wounds to me. I'm going to win combat, but he is stubborn, and he's going to fall back in good order. Over here, his dragon finishes off my trolls. That was, that was a no-brainer. As you can see, I did drop a foot of Gork right here. He fails to restrain, though, and he goes forward... Uh, he goes forward like 10 inches and now this is a, a, a good thing and a bad thing good thing because he can't turn around and fight like my black orcs my general like anything else right but what ends up happening though is since he, he failed to restrain is he's going to run straight forward and see my goblin that's hiding behind the hill I think that's why I didn't do magic so that fucking sucks alright over here he challenges him with his champ I kill his champ I destroy his champ I do uh, like I think like 6 wounds total alright he rolls double ones. His guy falls, uh, go, gives ground two inches. My general's going to just follow up to kill his ass off. Um, and then over here, uh, he ends up beating the shit out of my savages. My savages will run. At this point, he has a crucial moment. A crucial moment where he could... My, my, my goblins did rally. They're behind this picture. Like, right, like, if you can imagine the bottom of the photo, that's where my goblins are. Okay? He has a crucial moment of turning around and fighting my general. Now he's like, how much armor do you general have? Two up. Okay, uh, he has regen. Yeah, he's tough six. Mm, that's going to be a tough fight. You're going to kill a lot of my guys. He's worried that I'm going to kill his ward or his uh, wild riders, right? So he's like, you know what? I'm going to clean up the points on those goblins. So he says it. He says it. It's going to start off his turn. Turn three, I think it was. Wood elves, turn three. He's going to go ahead and declare a charge into my goblins. And as he says it, he goes... Son of a bitch, you got fanatics. <laughs> of course I got fanatics, man. Bring it. Bring it. And he can't even undeclare that charge because they're frenzy. They have to charge. Ah, oh, man. So uh, I just toss out my fanatics. He's, dude, this, this, is, this is brutal. He'll hit him when he hits him. Um, over here, he, like I said, he overran that way. The, the foot of Gork does hit him. He makes his ward save. Uh, I think I do like two wounds. He makes his ward saves. He charges uh, here. He charges into my um, Goblin Shaman. I can't do anything about it. He's going to kill my Goblin Shaman. Um, over here, he takes 16 impact hits from the freaking Fanatic. 16! And I only rolled 1-1. One, one. I, I did 14 wounds. <laughs> Oh, he's like, yeah, that, that was just a wasted unit. Um, over here, I made a mistake. I made a total big mistake. He charged my flank, and I didn't see this because I was pushing my black orcs up so fast to get into his archers because I'm, I was certain that the, the spider is going to kill his, his, his dude, right? So I pushed up without even realizing I exposed my flank to the tree. Tree can, tree can get into my flank. Um, this is going to be a uh, more crucial combat than we thought. Um, Anyways, uh, so obviously the fanatics continue moving on his compulsory phase. That they destroyed his unit and just kept going. Uh, and then right here, uh, you get a good view of what's going on on the battlefield. Uh, he is going to try to shoot my mangler. I think he did an extra wound on the mangler. And then the fight with the tree can, or the tree man ancient and the Arachnrock. Uh, the tree man ancient does two wounds or three wounds more, but I whiff. I had a whole round where I just whiffed. I think I did one total wound and it was on a stomp and he made an armor save. Um, so the black orcs, they lose. He has a, uh, a flank. I want to want to say a charge. It's, a, it's in my vocabulary. But he has a flank. Uh, he does like, I don't know, a couple wounds and I only did like a wound back in a banner and whatever. But he, I don't get rank bonuses because he's a unit strength of five or more in my flank. 
So I don't get rank bonuses. I do have two uh, combat res on my banners, and I think that was it. Maybe a wound, but he has at least four combat res. So I lose. I fall back in good order, and when I fall back in good order, it allows me to do a flea move and uh, basically face him. Um, so that does happen. Uh, he did do tree singing here uh, and walk between worlds here. He does fiery convocation, but he miscasts. And after he miscasts, he gets this big template to blow up on his wizard. Now we were questioning this because what what we were questioning was if he um, got walk between worlds makes that unit ethereal. Does the blast from the uh, miscast count as a magical attack? We assumed it is because it's a magical miscast kind of a deal. But you know, I just it, I don't know. I don't know. Um, so it blows up this many archers. <laughs> Um, all right, they do shoot into the mangler, kill off the mangler, and then this guy right here is going to go ahead and kill my sun worshiper. It's just not even, it's not even, it's a joke. It's a joke. All right, uh, he does turn around. There's not really much by his general right now, which is a good thing for me, because uh, I have to focus on killing the shit up there. Uh, so he's going to turn around, face the goblins, which is the closest thing. Um, over here, like I said, uh, I do uh, fall back in good order, turn to face his treekin, and then my spider actually does kill his, um, kill his tree man ancient right now uh, so what i'm going to do on this turn since it's my turn next is i angle my spider so i'm going to only see the flank of his treekin and i'll get into the flank of that charge he blocked off line of sight from me charging into his archers because of the hill or the forest and because he created another forest back there and my wizard's dead so i can't even dispel shit goes off turn four orcs and goblins orcs and goblins turn four i charge into the flank like i said i'm gonna do okay i nail that one boom like so all right um and my general's moving up over there to start threatening all the archers and all the bullshit up there just to get away from his general really um and away from the fanatics now my spider kills off one treekin straight up just straight up goes first boom, kills one right uh, I think I do like a wound or two to the other ones, but he starts making a lot of regens, okay? So really only one body dies. Now it should be base-to-base -base contact with the spiders. So that one gets moved first. Uh, he whiffs, I whiff, whatever, on the black orcs. What happens here is he's going to fall back in good order. When he falls back, he's falling back from the biggest unit, which is the black orcs. He goes center to center. Since there's a guy missing, it's going to turn him in an angle where he's going to run in an angle. I said, I'm going to just chase with both so i chase with the spider i catch and then i go with the black orcs and this is what happens i get a traffic jam oh what the fuck i honestly forgot that i could probably go through the spider to wheel past him but i totally forgot that okay but I don't think I can because it's the front. You need the side the side to go through, I think, right? So I, I, I basically just flubbed that up, okay? And if I did that wrong or if I could have gone through the spider, let me know. But I don't think I can. Uh, turn four. What else? What else? Turn four. He charges here into my goblins. And I was like, all right, I'm going to stand and shoot. And he's like, terror check. And I fail my terror and they just run off the table. This was a curse and a blessing at the same time. Because of this, his general just stumbles forward because I ran off the table. And his general's just wasting turns. But he did get my points on my goblins. Oh well. Um, he does tree singing here to block his line of sight with this guy, this unit back here. Uh, and then he does fiery convocation onto my black orc. Kills off a black orc. Um, over here, these guys are going to continue shooting into... I don't know what the hell they're shooting into. Oh, they did a reserve moving. Went into the forest. That's what they did. And they have walk between worlds up again. Um, over here, uh, my spider ends up only doing two wounds onto one guy. And they end up racking up <laughs> a couple more wounds onto my spider. My spider only has one wound left. Only one wound left. Um... I win combat. He's going to push back a little, and I think I continue to uh, attack because I should. Um, over here, my general did charge in. I think this is my turn. Tur no, this is... I think this was still... Yeah, this is my turn now. This is turn five, Orcs and Goblins. Turn five, Orcs and Goblins. My general charges in here. I'm going to wipe out this unit. Uh, my spider did continue the onslaught. Kills off one guy. I think I killed two guys off, leaving only one left. That one has three attacks, and he fucking kills my spider. Son of a... Bitch. Uh, I did move move my black orcs towards the other units so they can't get away from a general, but whatever. Um, and basically, I think we just call the game here. I think we call the game here. We've been here for like three, three and a half hours at this moment. Uh, again, it's like the same as, as the previous game. And since it's so much learning, so much book opening, so many questions, uh, it slows the game down right now. But as uh, as I get more and more games with people I know, they, they tend to get faster, obviously. Um, surprisingly... 
I killed 824 of his points. He killed 1,334 of mine. He is the wiener. The biggest wiener. Uh, I did not get a closing ar argument from uh, Ian. I'll probably get it another time. I gotta get. I gotta get another game, and we'll get a. We'll get a closing argument. Um, overall, it was fun. It was a lot of fun to play at a different uh, venue because uh, it was just like people coming up to us, and we're like, "Wow, they're playing Old World!" And it was just such a novelty in the store, you know. Um, and uh, yeah, it's, it, plus it was just kind of interesting, you know. It's interesting to check out different locations and see like you know people watching like these fucking weird ass nerds. Even though I'm there with my weird ass nurse. I was wearing my uh, Herb shirt, too, from uh, Australia. Anyways, um, anyways, guys, uh, that's about it. I think I have a couple of uh, things I want to throw out there. Shout outs. Number one is get your movement trays at movementtray.com. This guy is uh, the best with the movement trays. They are magnetized on the top and the bottom. So that way you could, uh, the, you could magnetize it to a carrying case. Uh, anyways. Besides that, I mentioned this in my last video, and I'm going to throw it out there again. I'm doing commission paintings. Uh, I'm doing mainly banners, if possible, uh, but also if you guys want a monster, a character, a lord, or whatever uh, painted, I will gladly do it. We'll, we could talk prices. You can go ahead and message me on Facebook, Instagram, or in my comment section down below. I also have Discord if you want to do it there. But uh, the one thing I'm not going to paint is 200 goddamn skeletons. Never again. Never again. Okay, John. Anyways, besides that, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed my battle reports. I'm, I love making them. I'm going to get to a tournament this weekend against uh, at Gary Luther's in Indiana. And uh, that's going to be three games of 1250 points. And, uh, yeah, that's, that's basically what I got for you guys today. Enjoy the music, man. Take care. Peace. Peace.